Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chris, the tech guy. I'm doing a quick video on how to investigate a system on your network. I want to investigate Windows in this case because I'm running a virtual machine with my Cali Linux Purple. So let's get into it. We're going to go over here and we're going to go open up a terminal. And then that terminal, I'm going to type in IPASETH0. And that's going to tell me my IP address. So I am 192.168.7.250, but I don't want that one. I want to be able to scan the system that I'm currently on. So my IP address, I'm going to open up Windows command prompt, and I'm going to do ipconfig slash all. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to find my Wi-Fi adapter, which is this. I'm on the 4.32. So I want to find out what vulnerabilities does my Windows system have. So I'm going to do this scan. I'm going to do nmap tac a dash v for verbose 192.168.4.32. And I'm going to run that. And that's going to give me all the services that are running on that system. Now, let's say I didn't know that it was my Windows system. And I just, you know, I'm just guessing. So this could be any IP address. This could be any host that's out there. Doesn't matter. Press enter. And Nmap is going to do a ping scan, and boom, bingo, bango, bongo, we got open ports, 139, 135, 445, port 80, and 2179. So we, there's a little thing called the Internet Assigned Number Authority, which tells all the ports that are for everything on the Internet. But if you see these three ports, 139, 135, and 445, you can pretty much guarantee that it's a Windows system because these are ports for NetBIOS, which is a protocol that Windows runs to be able to talk to other Windows systems on the network. So this NSE, what does NSE stand for? NSE stands for NMAP Scripting Engine. This is, so it's scanning five services on this Windows laptop. It actually happens to be the same laptop that I'm uh, recording this on, but we're gonna see what we get. So if I press enter a couple times, It'll tell me how much percent done it is. It's 99.86% done, and it's almost done, and finished. Boom. There we go. So I got, what did I get? I got a Windows RPC. I got Windows NetBIOS. I got uh, VMRDP, Remote Desktop Protocol, so something to do with virtualization. I got Microsoft IIS, Internet Information Server, so I know that computer's running a web server. What else? I also got SMB security mode. Message signing enabled but not required. So that tells me that there's a vulnerability there, something I might be able to exploit. If I scroll down, I can actually see some of the information about that host, like what kind of work group is it. If this was your corporate environment, you might be able to find things like the domain controller, which is, of course, the domain controller. That is where all the juicy info for the entire organization is held. And so it says SMB2, and it gave me uh, a few port numbers. It says it thinks it's Windows. This stands for Common Platform Enumeration, CPE. So the host was up. It said 995 ports were not shown, but the four ports that it found are shown. By default, NMAP only scans the first 1,000 ports. So if I wanted to now investigate, and let's say I want to scan uh, maybe some custom ports, 443... 500, uh, 2050, 2061, 3389, I can do that. So I can scan those ports now. So I now know a lot more about my Windows system than I didn't know before. So this might be some useful information that you might find. You might want to go ahead and maybe turn off some services, potentially. So by putting in some actual port numbers, I got different results from that host. So I know it's running uh, some antivirus. It's running uh, ISAKMP, Internet Security Association Key Management Protocol. That's running uh, IPsec for something. And then it's running Microsoft WP, WBT server, which is actually remote desktop. So that means that it, remote desktop service is listening. So... It says filtered, so that could be maybe there's a firewall blocking it or Nmap couldn't really tell. But we now have a whole bunch of information we didn't have before. And so um, 
now we can start looking at vulnerabilities, start looking at what our system might be vulnerable to. So if this video was helpful to you, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, give it a like, uh, subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Um, I'm going to try to do more videos like this. If you like what you see, go ahead and let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.